Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Hey, Nick Collier here, and uh, today we got this little mini one, uh, and actually, in reality, it's already finished. And for some reason, I misplaced the intro part of the video. So we're going to re-intro this, uh, and basically what we're trying to do here is... Uh, I've got a whole series, and I don't have one right here in place. Hang on. Got a whole series of quick changes here with uh, the square head nut on it, bolt on it. And I like the square head bolt rather than an Allen wrench because the Allen wrench is constantly getting stuff down inside of it. And uh, you can't, you, have, you know, you got to dig it out in order to uh, be able to loosen or tighten plus I'm constantly losing allen wrenches so what i want is i wanted something that was going to be able to uh tighten and loosen the square head bolts and at the same time have it on this uh quick change where i could get to it uh you know yes i could use a wrench here but then i have to go find a wrench and sometimes i just don't feel like doing that so I'm going to spend a little time today building this part, well I've already built it as you can see, that will come in and tighten and loosen the square head bolts for the bits. And, uh, and then when I'm done, this is where it lives, it's always here, it's never lost, I always have it. Plus, a wrench doesn't have this much torque on it. So, um, you know, hey, stick with me, we're going to have some fun. Uh, we're going to start with a little piece of uh, 8620 to work with, and let's go over to the bridge port. All right, well, standard procedure. We come in with a couple of parallels that gets us up to just about the right height. Uh, well, let's close this up on that. That's pretty good. We'll take them in, drop this thing down, and crank it tight. That looks pretty good, and I think what we're going to be able to do is we'll get uh, a halfway point on that with it without a problem. So we're going to just take uh, two grooves in this, cut it off, cut both pieces off, and then um, and then machine them down so that they. I'll, I'll get this surface flat, and then put them together back to back and weld them up. So uh, first thing we got to do is take this head and bring it over to 45, which isn't a huge thing, but uh, certainly uh, a bit of an effort. Let's see where we're at here. Can you see? Oh, well, you can. Okay, so we've got our lines laid out, and now all we need to do is drop this bit down right on top of one of those lines and start cutting down. So let's take it over where we think it's going to go. Somewhere in there. Um, bring the table up to meet it, and we're going to lock everything in position. Let's crank on it and see what we come up with. Okay, that's definitely below. We'll come back in and surface this top edge and bring it down to where we want it. That's it, right there. Okay. So let's take that 40. Let's take 50. And we'll probably take 60 and that'll take us to zero.
Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now we're going to come in and we're going to surface this top plate, the top edge, so we can get a good weld going. And then, uh, and then we'll come in and cut them and weld them. Um, you know, now that I'm thinking of it, maybe I need to come in and uh, and chamfer that inside edge where the weld's going to happen. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we've taken our two pieces and we've clamped them together. Notice how they're a bit off from this direction, but the hole fits the square just perfectly all the way through, no sweat. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and weld these up. You know, on or off, it doesn't really matter because we're going to put it in the forge jaw and we're going to turn it down. All right, well, we're going to heat this baby up to get it uh, to get really good penetration. Okay, ready? Let's fire. Now since this is 8620, we're going to want to let this cool on its own. So I, at this point, we'll just call it a day. And we will come back in the morning and uh, get this whole thing squared up uh, and cut around so that it has a nice round surface and we can rotate it. And I think that's going to work out just fine. I, we got a pretty good weld right there. I mean, not on the edges, but we're going to take those edges down anyhow, or the, the faces. So, nice. All right. So, uh, we'll come back in the morning. Okay, Nick Collier here. It's the next day, and uh, our little uh, square project here has uh, cooled down enough to where we can fiddle with it. Of course, it's been, what, 12, 14 hours. Uh, and since we've got the four jaw chuck and the big lathe, hey, why don't we just put this in the four jaw chuck and turn it down that way? So uh, let's just uh, see what we can do about chucking this baby up. I don't know, can you see the four jaw? Well, a little bit, but let's get you centered. And maybe in a little closer. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, now things are a bit cattywampus here. I don't know, you can see that. One edge is, uh, you know, at 90 degrees, the next edge is 87 degrees, and the next edge is 68 degrees. But we got the, the square squared up, and that's the main thing here. Uh, let me test one thing. We had some... Uh, Square head bolts I got from the hardware store. Let's see if they're going to fit. And they're not going to fit. God damn it. They are not going to fit. But I think I can come in with a square file and file these out. I mean, they almost fit. In fact, it does fit. It's just tight. Okay, so uh, we'll fiddle with that. I know that the other side fits. Or the other size fits. So uh, well, let's just see what we can do here. Alrighty. 
and we're just going to machine part of this and then uh, flip it around, put it in the three jaw, probably over in the little A, and then machine the other side. Now for the moment, we just want to see where that center lands, and it looks like it lands a little bit high over here. Yeah, that's what we want. I'm thinking it's going to be hard to measure that spot. So let's try this as an alternative. Bring the carriage all the way over. Bring our, let's get some oil on this. First, before we do anything, we're going to put some gloves on. Take the drill bit out, put the center in, drag this the tail the tail stock all the way forward, at least as far forward as we can. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got our uh, center set up as a pointer. So we need to bring this this way. You can see that. Let's uh, tighten this side first and loosen this side a little bit. Tighten this side a little bit more. Okay, that might be better. Okay, we're hitting there. So if we come Let's back this up a little bit. We're going to go down a ways and over a bit. It's a little better. Now we're going to bring this. Let's tighten that a little bit. Much closer. Come this way just a tad. And I'd say that's pretty close to center. What do you think? Maybe a little bit out right there. So we'll bring this back a little bit. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's, um, let's get something that we can attach here and then spin a circle on that and see what that looks like. Because then we'll have a better idea of where the circle is going to land. Okay, now I know you're not going to be able to see anything, so uh, we're going to shift you. All right, I'm not sure if you can see that because it might be too dark, but uh, let's find a shine a little flashlight right there. What we're going to do is bring our tool in and spin it around and see where it hits each of the points. And it looks like we're pretty close. Let's get it in. 
just a little bit closer. There's one point. There's a point. We're pretty close to that. We're a bit off there. And we're right on that point there. So let's come toward me a little bit. Take it over to the little soft bin, just so we don't have to change chucks on it. And take the rest of that off. That looks pretty square okay, right uh, in there. I, there's a little bit of the, a skip in the weld right there. So we're going to take this other side down. And, uh, and if it's too much, then we'll just cut another V and, and run a, a quick pass across that just to you know, strengthen it up a little bit. The plan is, is to take this tool and have it so that this is on one end. So then I could just flip the tool and use it as a, as a leverage in a wrench situation. So it's possible I could just take that, that weakened weld right there and go ahead and butt this up against there and throw a bead across the end of that. And we have, we'll have uh, pretty much what we want and it'll be strong again. So let's take it over the, to the little nine inch uh, south pin and do something there. All right, let's go with that. Yeah, that's gonna work. Okay, we found ourselves a carbide bit, which is going to be a whole lot better than trying to dink around with um, the other kind. Let's give this a try. Okay, so we welded up both sides, and of course I forgot to film it. Uh, and now uh, we're going to weld up, weld the arm to the wrench itself. Well, I forgot to turn the uh, the uh, tanks on, and so uh, my well looks like shit. But it is on there, and it's not so square. I really want it to be square. So we're going to break that back off again. I'm going to 
go over and grind that down a little bit and I'll be back. All right, we got her lined up and all ready to go. Let's just uh, throw a couple of beads on that and I think everybody will be happy. Now, if you look at it, uh, the bottom is perfect, which is where, we, where we're going to grab the bolt. But look at that top. It's way off. So I think what I want to do is just kind of go ahead and fill that in with weld. And we can grind it off later. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, we got a full weld on that. Not the prettiest one in the world, but it's certainly functional. Uh, so we'll uh, let this cool a little bit and uh, go over and grind it and uh, we'll be all set to go. Well, Nick Collier here, and uh, we finished our little tool. I'm going to bring that in close so you can kind of see it. I threw a little paint on it just for fun. Um, but you can see that uh, that I've created the... I put it out on the end of the handle there. You know, no big deal here, but, you know, it's a nice little video. Can you see it? Oh, no, you can't. There you go. Now you can so uh, we're going to slide forward here and see where it goes. And uh, basically, it's going to tighten up my bolts for me on, on uh, the, uh, the quick change. That's pretty much what it does. So, uh, yes, probably I could have, uh, you know, searched around and found one of these. Uh, but it, it would have been a separate handle. And I wanted it to be as a as a single handle so um you know hey spend a little time have a little fun hey, subscribe we have a good time here um this was a little short piece uh we're probably going to do it tomorrow uh on a wednesday and uh and whenever if you subscribe uh i'll send you a little email tell you when i put something up so uh check nick collier checking out